Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. I'm Jay and today we're going to take a look at making a fairly simple uh, mouse auto clicker. Now this is going to be a very basic bare bones mouse clicker. I am working on a more advanced version of this. Right now um, for setting the clicking intervals it's all done in the Arduino IDE in the sketch. But I am working on a new version. I'm pretty much just doing some research. I'm trying to find, uh, I'm going to need more um, interrupts than like your Unos, and Nanos, and Pro Minis have. So I am I know a Mega will. I'm looking to see if I can find a scaled down version of the Mega. But this one, that one's going to have an LCD and rotary encoders. Everything you'll be able to adjust. Um, have multiple buttons, have sequences, and... Um, set the intervals everything right with the lcd screen and the rotary encoders this one here is just a very basic straightforward that's what we're going to look at today and it's nice and easy and for a lot of applications this will work for you work perfectly fine so uh, let's just get right into it we'll take a look at it and then we'll go over to the computer and look at the sketch but the first thing you're going to need is a mouse and i had an old um this is actually a USB mouse, but it was really old. And he had, oh, get it on the camera there. This had a trackball. I won't use these. Uh, when I see them being thrown away, I take them. Main thing, the USB cord. Uh, lots of uses for the USB cord. And this is the cord for this one. I just have it disconnected, so it'll make it easier to, to see this. But what you want to do is take the mouse apart and uh, just take the guts out and we're not going to need this. This is just going to be a clicker. Now you can have multiple mice hooked to your computer. You'll have your normal mouse and you use that to put it over what you want the clicking, repetitive clicking to be. And uh, well then, well actually in the schematic I don't have it on here, it's going to have a switch so we can turn this thing off and on. It won't always be clicking. You can have it always plugged in, and it will plug in by USB. And it'll have a power switch, and in the schematic um, that you will find on the website, um, for that, just look in the description below. You'll find a link to this project's website, and you'll find that schematic and also the Arduino sketch and all that info. But, uh, yeah, in, in the final version of this, and I haven't put it in a box yet because... I'm not going to keep this version. Once I get the LCD and the rotary encoders and figure everything out, I'm going to, hopefully by then, I'm actually um, going to be getting a 3D printer for the channel so I can start making custom enclosures. So it's going to be about a month before I get this done because I want to take some time working on this. This is going to be something I'm going to be using myself. Um, one of the main uses for this is online gaming, you know, auto clicker and you can just walk away for a little bit and just set intervals to auto click um, for doing stuff like in certain games you got to mine stuff and things like that but um, all right uh, we get back to it well we got our mouse and it's cannibalized now we can only run right mouse or left mouse button and um, for this one I got it set up um, to, when did I set this up at? Right click? Yep, I have it set up for right click at the moment. Um, depending on the program you want to use, or you're going to be using this with what you want to click, you can also set this up for left click. And as you can see, I have the wires right here. They're just not connected. But I have them set up. So what you need to do is once you get the the guts are removed from the mouse is you look on the back side where your two little mouse buttons are and you'll want to find the two terminals and you'll want to solder wires onto them. And that's what I went ahead and did. And then I found afterwards I wasn't thinking the, I guess it's the ground side, the, um, the white one here and I believe it's the orange one here are both connected on the PCB so you get away with having three wires instead of four. but. That's what you'll need to do is you need to solder wires on there. And then what you do is you're going to want to run it through an optical optocoupler because um, this keeps 
this, the Arduino and everything, is separate from the computer. Instead of using electricity sending back and forth, what it's doing is it's using light. It's using light. It's like a light transistor. Um, instead of the base, you know, being getting current to turn it on, the base is when it, there's a little LED built into the inside of this. And when the LED is given power through, and you can see I got the little resistor here, is given power through that resistor from the Arduino. It turns that LED on in there, and you can also select the brightness, you know, just like a transistor. Select the amount of current, but I have this set to let, you know, to let it all the way through. And it just means there is no physical connection between the mouse and the computer in the Arduino that we're using to do the, the auto clicker. It's using light. Now this is a sharp, um, oh, I can't remember here and I can't really read the numbers on the schematic um, that I'll have on the web page. You can find the, uh, the optocoupler I'm using. Some people call them optoisolators. A few different terms I've heard them called. I'll have the name for this one. It's made by Sharp. And this is a really common one. You can use others. Um, and then I'm using a 330 ohm resistor, current limiter. Um, once again, if you use a different optical um, optocoupler, you'll probably have to use a different resistor. But other than that, then all we just need is our Arduino. And we're using the Arduino and we're just, you know, digitally writing the pin high at intervals and then we're writing it low real quick. So we're making the button, you know, like you're clicking it every so often. That's all there is to this. And like I said, I am working on a more advanced version of this. So make sure to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And it will probably be about a month from the time this video is uploaded till I have that done because I, you know, I'm trying to find a smaller something that's like the Mega. And there are some oddball, goofy specialty boards out there for Arduino. And um, I do believe, if I remember right, they do have a Mega that's in a smaller size. That might work as well. And, uh, well, then, of course, the mouse is plugged into the computer, and I just have it disconnected. This plugs in right here, and it's the USB cable that goes to the computer. All right, that's all there is to it. Super easy to do, and oh, then we're also powering. I just went on the back here and found the uh, the positive and negative for powering the mouse, and I um, I've got that run off the power rail. And what we're actually doing is using the power from the computer through the mouse to power this. So. I guess it's not completely isolated, but um, when you're when you're running the program, uploading the program, these you got to plug into the computer anyway. It's just this isolator works good. I mean, you could try using a transistor here, but I just don't want to fry my computer. <laughs> it would cost too much to replace, and I suggest the same thing to you. So, all right, um, well, you don't need to drag this on anymore. Let's get over to the computer. And we'll take a look at the Arduino sketch, and it's pretty simple and straightforward, so it'll only take a minute to get through. So I'll catch you over there in just a second. Okay, I got the Arduino <coughs> IDE brought up here, and I got the sketch loaded up. And as you can see, this is about as simple as the Arduino blank sketch. Um, it's actually very similar to it. So, we're just defining, I have the mouse, um, the clicker button, um, which is actually the optocoupler on pin 12. That's what we're using to um, do the auto-clicking. You can use any pin you want, just make sure you change it. And we're just calling it mouse. In the void setup, we're just doing the pin mode, defining that. It's an output, of course. Then... Um, down in the void loop, we're just digital writing the mouse high. Then I have a delay of 50. Now this don't change. I found this works pretty good. And um, you won't have any double clicks or hold clicks, anything coming up at 50. It works pretty good. 
If you're really worried about it being fast, you can maybe go down to 25. I really wouldn't recommend going any lower than that. 50 I found works fine. Then we're digital writing the mouse low. And then this is our delay time between clicks. I have mine set at uh, one minute. So it's 60,000. One minute. All right. That's all there is to it. Um, you just change the delay you want here. Put whatever you want in there. Um, I'm not sure. I do believe, uh, you know, you, you try to put in like an, a number, the milliseconds, it's going to equivalent an hour. I don't think um, it'll work. This is something, you know, maybe every minute, maybe every couple minutes. A lot of people, you know, this is going to be like every 50 seconds or maybe every 10 seconds. It all depends what you're using it for. It has options. And once again, like I said, I am working on a more advanced version of this. So if that's what you're looking for and you can't find it anywhere else online, just subscribe. It will be coming I'm just uh, doing a little research and working on designing it. So, all right. Um, once again, all the information, look in the description below. You'll find a link to the uh, project's webpage. And you'll find this code on there. you also find the schematic. I'm not going to go over the schematic. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. If you don't know how to read a schematic and you're building it in Arduino, I'm going to tell you right now, this is when you should go and learn how to read a schematic. It's easy. And if you are going to be getting into this hobby, anything in electronics, you are going to have to read schematics and not the, the breadboard views where they show the components in the breadboard. That, um, no, you're not learning anything. You're just copying, copying and pasting. That's all you're doing. And when you get into more technical things, you're really going to be lost. So it's better off if you don't know how to read a schematic, learn now while you're still just getting into this because it'll make everything a lot simpler and it'll actually help you learn the electronics and the symbols and everything as you go so all right with that i would like to thank you for joining us here at the z hut today um you found the information useful please give us a thumbs up uh, you didn't give us thumbs down either way it, uh, <laughs> a lot of people don't realize this but Thumbs up, thumbs down. It does rank the video, and uh, it helps out either way. So, all right. Um, any questions, leave a comment. Um, I'll try to get back to you. Uh, sometimes I don't always get notified, but usually one of my subscribers, if I don't jump in, will get in here and answer the question. So, all right. Well, have a great day, and I hope to see you here again.